What up, what up, what up, Kryptonian Gaming back with another Division 2 build video. And I got something for you guys. Pretty cool build. Exciting, powerful build, man. And I want to share this with you guys. By the way, happy holidays to all. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's safe. Now, I had a similar build on my channel. You can find it with this brand set and this weapon. But in this build, I tweaked it up a bit and I came up with something enjoyable to play with. And um, I really like it, man. But before we get to the build and the gameplay, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and receive notifications every time I drop a new video. You know, your support means a whole lot to me. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a ton. You know, for the algorithm and all that stuff, man. But let's get into it. All right, let's get into the build. I went with the tactician for that extra skill tier and a couple of other perks. You know, arm um, kills will apply to all friendly skill proxies with the 10 meters. You know, arm um, plus one skill tier. You know, there's a couple here, party members with the five meters of your deployed and undisrupted skills are immune to shock and disruption. Gain 50% bonus armor while aiming a skill. You know, um, a couple of perks here are good, but I also, I went with it for the skill tier. Now, the build, I forgot to change my backpack. But anyway, the build, it's something like this. I wanted to turn Umbra into a skill build. Now, I couldn't find a chess piece, but I'm pretty sure I would have changed my specialization if this was had a core skill tier to it, a core attribute skill. So, I left it red and I put the rest skill plus the plus one from the tactician giving me six. So, we're gonna start it off with the weapons. I got the capacitor, exotic, one of my favorite guns in the game. It's rolled with the 15% assault rifle damage, 12% damage to armor, 9.5 health damage. Um, the talent on it is capacitance, shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5 skill damage and after five seconds stacks decay per one per second. For each skill tier, gain 7.5 weapon damage. So that's a whole lot of weapon damage. Plus with the bread set, um, you can go crazy with this build. There's a lot of like ways you can build and stuff like that. So now uh, I went with the LMG new reliable with the talent perfectly optimized, 30% weapon handling. I got the pistol TDI card, the custom, the talent. It's uh, close and personal, killing the target with a seven meters. Grant say 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. My mask. I wanted a little bit more skill damage, so I only got a one piece of white room wear, and that's 10% skill damage. The brand set is Umbra Initiative, and if I wear two pieces, I get 15% critical hit chance. Three pieces, I get 30% reload speed. Four pieces, I get from the shadows into the light while in cover, gain 10 stacks per second. Up to 50 E stack will give 1% critical damage increase and 0.3 percent rpm the buff does not, the buff does not apply while shooting from cover while out of cover agents lose two stacks per second at normal speed and one stack per second if sprinting while out of cover and in combat gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 e stack will give 0.80 percent on, on armor regen when it is consumed stacks consume 10 stacks per second only in cover so basically when you're in cover you're getting all these stacks and when you come out of it, you're gonna get a whole bunch of crit damage and your RPM is gonna go through the roof. So, um, with another RPM weapon, maybe like the Oral Burrows or the Dark Winter, this weapon, I mean, this brand set goes good with those because they got hard RP, high RPM. So, um, that's the brand set. I, the, the chest piece talent is from the shadows increases max stats from the shadows from 50 to 100 and stat gain from 10 to 20 and the backpack talent is into the light increases max stacks into the light from 50 to 100 stack 
gain from 10 to 20 and stat consumption from 10 to 20. So pretty cool for me. It was fun to play with. But this is the bread and butter right here, the BTSU, the data gloves. Now this is a this is a skill piece. It got transformers overclock as a talent, grants 50% hive skill haze per set per skill tier. Detonate in the hive refreshes the skill cooldowns and grants over charms for 15 seconds. If at skill tier 6, this effect also applies to all allies. Allies receiving this effect are unable to benefit from it again for 120 seconds. So basically, you throw your hive down. I'm running with the booster hive. So you throw it down anywhere and uh, you pop it and you get overcharge. And I'm running with the, the oxidizer. And I believe when you overcharge it, let's see, let's take a look at the oxy. Overcharge, you get plus six to the ammo, 100% radius, 150% duration, and 80% damage. So, yeah, when you overcharge this bad boy, it does a lot of damage. Plus, hitting them with the capacitor, you're getting more skill damage. So it's a pretty cool build. I hope you guys enjoy the video. But one more thing I want to say, you can always sw switch it out because there's another piece that I tried it with. And it's the backpack, the coasters go back. This also will give you overcharge and the cooldown is much faster. So I would say this is a better, a better piece than the BTSU. Because uh, throwing a grenade refunds it and grants plus one skill tier for 15 seconds. Grants overcharge it already at skill tier six. Cool down to 60 seconds. You, know, you get two in the bag. One plus one armor kit capacity. Plus three grenade capacity. Plus 25 ammo capacity. Plus 10 repair skills. Plus 10 status effect. So maybe something with like the iron lung with this or something. Or maybe the oral balls too. Um, or even, even the set ammo. So yeah. You could always use this piece too and you know work around it. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. I got some gameplay for you guys, man. I see you guys on the next one.